Welcome my YouTube family, Josiah here. Welcome back to some more Wizards Lizard. So let's do our third run with the wizard. I actually, uh, I'm warmed up now, but I've also had a chance to kind of step back and think as far as my wizard starting uh, items. And uh, I was actually thinking about the boomerang, but that would be boring because I've already beaten the game with that. I really am liking the idea of, bear with me, Ice Totem. Den key, so you can see where those are going. We can go to Den of Thieves, so we have the Ice Totem to freeze the shopkeepers. Then we have 7,000 to spend as well. We can no longer get the uh, HP plate, but that's fine, I think. What could we grab now? We could get some utility items, we could get the compass. What are you guys thinking? Hmm. Yeah, that's a... Uh, I got a breastplate. Wait, what is this? This isn't just a speed plate. I thought it was. It's like the elven tunic. It might be like speed and damage or something. That would be awesome. Um, Abacus? No, we don't need to see our damage. Compass, yes. Uh, da -da -da, ring? No, we want charms. Do we have any charms? I don't think we do. Oh, we could do some totem items. Let's get the gloves. And then... I don't want boots. I don't want to get too much armor, because I'm probably going to want to replace it with HP armor. Let's just start with this. How about that? This looks good enough, in my opinion. Alright, so this will be different, but we're starting with 30 HP, but wait until we get to the Den of Thieves. That'll be this episode. This very episode, we'll get to the Den of Thieves, and we're gonna... Um, we're gonna make some good things happen, I feel. We have to play a lot smarter on the way to it. We have the compass that can help us. So let's keep an eye out for the crack in the wall to the forest. Not seeing it. Here's a shop right here, so good thing we saved our money. Maybe we can get a good item. Nah. I'm not crazy about any of that. We could kill a shot. We could just start killing shopkeepers now, but he doesn't have anything that I want. I don't even want the poison ring, really. Eh, nothing to do with this room as the... Well, I mean, we, we could get the lance as the wizard if we wanted to, but uh, I'm not going to. I want to try and beat the the game with the wizard with the fire staff. I think that would be really cool. Just use his default weapon. I think it's very powerful. It's not good on the crypt. I've, I've had a lot of trouble, as you may have seen, with the lack of range. There's the, with the forest right there. We'll clear out the rest of the floor and try to get the gold because... Oh, actually, we're not going to be buying stuff. We'll try to get gold for blueprints. But yeah, let's stock up the gold. Be a mimic, I dare you. No? Ooh, Spike Tell you're even better than the mimic. Well, I mean, <laughs> of course it is. Damage up. It kind of lowers our rate of fire, which is, I don't know. It's not as good a DPS increase, I feel like, as, as other characters. Can we just kill the, the bat here? I don't know if that's going to be doable. Okay. Kill the owl and the bat, then. It feels like it's doing more damage. At one point, at one or my first wizard run, I was doing like 90 DPS with one volley of fireballs. I still wasn't able to surmount the the game, so I don't know. Oh man, I, I was. I'm, I'm usually ready for enemies to be in barrels, but ones that are that quick, not so much. We got some HP to drop, though. We'll get back to full at the very end of the first floor, even. We really shouldn't have taken that much on the first floor, though. Let's kill this bat, and okay, now we can go to the forest. Let's kill this or destroy this barrel, I should say. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm thinking this is a a risky combination of starting items, but this could be so very, very, very good for us. Especially with the fact that I think our totem, with the totem upgrade, is going to freeze shopkeepers for several several seconds. It's going to freeze them long enough for me to kill them. That's, that's what's important. There's a revival room right there, which I'm hoping we won't need, but with 30 HP we very well may. We also still have the ice totem, so that'll even the busier rooms will be okay to kind of finagle and manage to not take damage and I feel all right let's I think one more we'll destroy both of those and then we'll just get behind the stump where we're completely safe I'm not gonna let this guy have his day I'm not gonna let him take a chance to hit me all right so we'll just wait for our totem cooldown we'll quickly check the map so the boss room and the blueprint room are up this way let's actually go down then first while waiting for our totem we can backtrack and we also just want to go down this way to get the gold for the, the blueprint which I think is 20,000? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, we killed him, so... I guess it worked out okay. I still didn't mean to do it. I gotta, I gotta think before I hit stuff. Some stuff attacks back. <laughs> Only when you hit it. That's why it's a problem sometimes. Alright. That's a gold, so I'm glad I came this way. Okay, careful, careful. Are you gonna ever... I knew you were an enemy. <laughs> There's no surprise there. 
I actually personally feel like I don't need the Abacus anymore. I always kind of know what damage I'm doing, unless it's a completely new weapon, obviously. But I actually, I think I would be better off sometimes with the monster manual so I could see the HP bars. Because I know, like I said, most of what the damage looks like that I'll end up doing with certain weapons and combinations. But I don't know how much health enemies have by heart, especially like in the Crypt, the Cyclops and Ogre enemies had quite a bit. Ring of damage now too, so now we do 60 damage of volley of fireballs, but we shoot them pretty slow. I don't know if this is better, if I like this more. This is actually the way to the blueprint room, I didn't think that. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, we one-shot mushrooms, so I gotta be very careful near them. Like so. I think I did pretty good there. Oh look, yeah, it double freezes the, the bats. That's awesome. And the way that that is working is that the, the initial freeze happens and the totem stands for several seconds afterwards. And then when they get unfrozen, the totem is still standing because it lasts so long and they could just get refrozen. Oh, 15,000 is cheaper than I thought. Wing shoes of speed. I think those are only speed. Now we already, I think we already have speed shoes or do we not? I don't know. Anyway, it's good to get out of the pile of blueprints so we can't have it anymore. I don't like speed items, but maybe I'll start with all of them and see how quickly we can actually get. Maybe it won't be too bad, but it'll be pretty nice. We'll see. That'll be another run though. Probably when I'm better at the game, too. <laughs> it would help for dodging, though, quite a bit. And actually, especially against bosses, except for death, because if you, if you dodge too much versus death, you kind of, like, run into him. That's what I found. But, like, the, the sewer hag and the zombie warlord speed would help a lot. And death is, is a, a really tough boss, but he's only one part of the game. You have to get to him first, and that's a lot of times harder than him. All right. Just leave that skull there, I guess. Oh, there's a bat up there I didn't even see. We actually haven't taken any damage with this setup. That's oh no, we have. We took uh, <laughs> 15 total now, but we've we've gotten HP to heal it all back. I probably shouldn't open this if it's a mimic because I'm slowed. No, nope, not taking that. All right, we'll get back to full. Nice. We make it to the end boss of or the the boss area of this floor. We'll be able to get an HP potion as well after clearing it. Alright, let's do this. Some of that action. Then we'll get the owls all to come at me and get frozen and then just take them out without a second thought, really. My nose is itchy. Uh, okay. Ah! Oh, I didn't expect that. It destroyed the tree, or I destroyed the tree and the, the mushroom in one volley of fireballs. That was unexpected. Alright. I don't know where we're going, but we're going. Alright, dead end, sadly. Bam! get wrecked. Alright, let's take them out from a safe distance. We don't want the barrel to explode and kill us. He'll actually get frozen. Oh no, he didn't get frozen again. I thought he would. What? Oh, we got a... There's another switch I didn't see for some reason. Alright, we're doing pretty well. This is much better than my last one already as far as not taking damage, and it's good because we don't have much health to work with. I really like this combo of items. The ice... I've done this before, actually. Is this the one I... Was this the run that I ended up beating the game as Raga, where I did Ice Totem Denki? Was that? Oh man, if so, then I apologize if it's it's kind of superfluous, but it's it's my third wizard run, so I figured we'd switch it up, and I didn't actually think too much about it. Is this the way, or is this the dead end? This is actually the way to the boss. No, it's not. There is something over here, though, but we'll go this way just to get the gold. Yeah, there's lots of gold here, too. A few thousand in this room, I think. Be a be I dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought, chump. Get wrecked. Even more gold. I'll take it. I think it was 1750 or, or 2000. It was it was quite a bit. And we already bought a 15,000 blueprint, so things are going well. And when we get to the Den of Thieves, oh, there's actually still HP here. When we get to go to Den of Thieves, we'll have our pick of the items. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be good. Man, we do so much damage. I think this is. I was actually. I wasn't no. What am I saying? I was questioning earlier if the the attack cooldown increase, like making us attack less often, was worth the damage increase, and it definitely feels like it. I don't know. I just uh, like one volley doing so much damage feels so good. At least to me, there's a lot of HP that's dropped so far. That's nice. If we could just finagle a fireball in there, there we go. Finagle a fireball. <laughs> Sounds like a pizzeria. Or, I don't know. A, Meatball area. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Oh crap, that was bad. We should have waited for our, our our totem to cool down. Okay. Oh darn it! That was a fail. Okay. Let's not do stupid things like we are. Okay. There's some HP there too. That makes me feel good. We will get 30 HP upon the completion of this room. We killed that guy super fast. 
Come here. Bam. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I got hit by a... Wait, where did that mushroom even explode from? That exploded from... Oh, no, it was a, it was a shot from the man-eater. It's okay. We're going to get back to full HP at the end of this room. So no worries. We'd have to take so much... We'd have to... I think we'd have to die to not get back to full HP. And even then, we would technically be at full HP. Oh, I walked into him and almost took damage there. Oh, man. That was scary. Now we got to do this. Spiderweb is, like, in the worst place possible, seriously. All right, there we go. So let's get this apple. It's a nice, juicy, delicious, healthy apple. That's actually the end of the floor, so we definitely are going to be back at full HP. I don't know why I walked around that way. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Let's see the spoils. I'm actually taking so much less damage as soon as I have less HP. I don't know if it's a placebo thing or I've just been lucky or playing better. I don't even know. But it's happening. <laughs> and I'm happy. All right. So we'll be fighting the zombie warlord on this floor. Should we go to the shop? Let's go check it out. We have the compass, so that's nice. I actually forgot I had the compass. The last two runs I with the wizard, I started with the, the breastplate that gives pure health, and I... I don't know, I kind of felt like that was necessary, but I'm, I'm discovering that it's not so much. I think against death, you're gonna, you're gonna have to have... Like, me... Exclusively. I would have to have more HP to not die to him, just because he does... It's it's so easy to get hit by death. He's such an efficient killer, you know? <laughs> it's kind of a joke. Oh, crap, I was like sprinting into the wall. I didn't even realize until it was almost too late. I was trying to just sprint along it like this. That was my mistake, though. That was purely mechanical. Um, it was purely a mechanical mishap. Well, there's a free chest in here. Blue candle, yeah, that increases soul power and gives us light. That's nice. That's really nice. Um, we'll take the charm of haste. It's because it's it doesn't take a spot and it's it's okay. I, again, I'm not crazy about move speed, which I think is what uh, which I think is what speed in this game exclusively is. So yeah, I'm not crazy about it, but <clears throat> it could help. I'm hoping it will help. That's why I bought it. <laughs> All right, so we can find the boss room. We have effectively 60 HP, which doesn't feel very good. When we were starting with the breastplate, we effectively had 110. And somehow I I had, like, taken a ton of damage by now. And still lost. Oh! I thought that was a normal barrel for some reason! I swear I thought that was a normal barrel. Wow. Okay, well that was a big mishap. And this actually may be the end of the run. Wow. Don't even try it. Now we gotta kill all the ghosts. This is gonna make the boss so much harder. We still don't know exactly where the boss room is. It's not this way. This is the um, the villager. Oh my gosh, I really should have waited for my totem to cool down. What am I doing? I'm making so many judgment mishaps. So many bad judgment calls. Walking into an explosive barrel and then shooting it with a fireball. Like seriously? Ah, oh, I feel really bad about my situation now. Man. <laughs> Just one mishap like that. I don't know if we're even going to be able to beat this boss. Uh, that's, that's sad to say. I'm hoping, obviously. Alright. Got these stupid bone piles. We got a lot of soul orbs. When we do revive, we'll revive with full HP. So, I mean, that's good. <laughs> but we gotta make it to the second floor of the sewer, though. And more specifically, the den of thieves. Alright, so let's attack this one. This should get them all frozen. There we go. Alright, man. Oh, not this room layout. No, 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 no. And with enemies that shoot projectiles like this, this is... Why do they not get hit by spikes? How are spikes indifferent to certain enemies? That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> They're spikes. get wrecked by ice stupid birds i wish the ice totem worked on the end or the the zombie warlord okay we really gotta kill this grave digger okay let's actually i just set the ghost free i forgot that ghosts never take any damage i didn't get hit i didn't get hit I, they don't take any damage from explosions I, the spread caught one of the, the owls. I wasn't aiming for it, obviously, because that was not something I was ready for. And 
I was surprised I didn't get hit and then shortly after die. <clears throat> oh man, this is... Okay, let's... Priority number one, clear these barrels out. These will be the enemy instantly. Put a nice totem down here to freeze the ghosts. Okay, and then kill the zombies. Kill the barrels. Kill these, uh, the nests. So no more ghosts will spawn. And then we're gonna... We're just gonna start clearing these guys out to make this a lot less hectic. We really gotta line up with him properly. And I did not do that at all. Seriously? Alright, trying to be safe here, and it's, it's getting pretty risky. Alright, he's, he's going all kinds of directions, but he's super slow, so... That's good. Okay. I'm just kind of like holding my breath here, guys, so just bear with me. I'm gonna pick that HP up. Ooh, okay, this is getting... This, this actually isn't that nerve-wracking. I am pretty worried, though. Two hits from this guy, and I'm, this run is over very shortly. I still I still think that what I started with was an okay idea. Obviously, I would love to have the ivory plate and not have died to that explosion, but can't win them all, can ya? Okay, we actually took him out without getting hit. Nice. We're already back to full HP without the potion, so we could just, um... Actually, this is the end of the floor anyway. <laughs> that was that was timely, I guess. Man, I really wish that we could do something with that potion. No, I'm not taking the explosive totem. No, no way, no way. It's just not good enough with what we've got going on. It would be helpful for sure, but I really need a utility totem or weapon, one or the other, to not die right now. So I, I, I think that we just rush the exit if we can and try to get to, to the revive area in the next floor. Okay, we can get our HP up, and we don't have any boots yet, that's good. We can also get the map, plus, so we'll have the map plus compass. That's also very helpful. Okay, there's a gambling room over there. I kind of want to gamble a lot. <clears throat> Let's do it. Can't really get like HP or anything, but we can get some, I don't know, some crazy good stuff, lots of gold. Tricky, trickster spear, really? I didn't know this existed. Deals tricky damage. So yeah, the more tricky armor that you would have, the more damage this would do. Let's, I am probably not gonna roll with this just because I have no tricky armor. Yeah, I'm definitely not rolling with that now. We have a lot of gold and I don't have any. It's, hmm, I'm gonna do this just because I haven't yet. I don't have a, a torso piece either. I don't know how much damage this thing does, but it's hopefully an, oh, we can get the ring too. This, I think this is a better damage up, and it also doesn't increase our attack cooldown. Increases soul power as well. How much damage do we do? Holy crap. Plus we have insane range. This could actually be really good, guys. Just bear with me here. Okay. This looks pretty good. This is kind of hard. I'm so used to the spread of the... Uh, I usually use weapons like this exclusively, like long-range, accurate weapons, but now I'm so used to the spread. Okay, so what, what do we got here? This is increasing soul power, increasing trickiness. Increases maximum health, increases trickiness, so we're at 50 HP, I didn't even realize. And, and it's not increasing our attack cooldown, it's pretty fast still, actually. And if we can get, instead of, instead of getting uh, uh, damage ups that inc decrease our attack cooldown, like make us attack less often, uh, we can, we can get damage ups that just our damage ups, in the form of trickiness. There's something down there I gotta kill, but I can't see it. It has so much range, too. Holy crap, it goes off the screen, that's crazy. That could actually get me in trouble, though. Alright, this is a really nice setup. We have map, compass, 50 max HP, tricky armor, and tricky spear. Okay, we have nothing to, we have no, uh, no reason to be there. Let's go. I, I say this every time I walk into that room, but if you, if you haven't heard it yet, um, the reason I don't want, want to go in there is because I'm actually not going to rush anymore. It's because that's, a that room only opens a shortcut that I've already unlocked, so there's only, like, the potential for taking damage and getting a little bit of gold in that room for me, and I'm obviously not crazy about that. Uh... Do we still one-shot? We do. Does the damage up not affect the Tricky Spear? I kind of feel like it doesn't, and it's also increasing our attack speed. Look at that. We're at least still doing 15? I think I'm gonna let, leave the helm behind, guys. Oh, what?! Why do I have 70 HP all of a sudden? Increases max, oh, it's a heretic helm. Decreases soul power, increases max health. I thought that was the totem helm. Holy crap, we have 70 HP all of a sudden. I was feeling really worried that I didn't start with the, um, the ceramic, or the, um, what is that plate? I didn't know why I pick up that orange. 
picked up that orange. I say I don't know why I picked up that orange. Man, am I a three-year-old all of a sudden? Um, what was I saying? I I lost my train of thought. Uh, no, no, thank you. I don't know if that even works on this tricky stuff. It probably does. It's okay though. I prefer the tricky armor. But yeah, I was uh, I was so worried and doubting. Oh, I was trying to remember the name of the plate, and it's a um, ivory plate. Jeez, that took me a day and a half. Do we one-shot mushrooms? We do. We're doing a lot of damage. Our soul power is decreased, but it's also increased. So let's see. We have increase of soul power here. This just does tricky damage. This is an increase in soul power, and then this is a decrease. It's probably a large decrease, but it's fine. Man, we are... This is really different, and this is really exciting, because this could be really good. And we have the ice totem. We could... <gasps> Did I skip the Den of Thieves? No, I'm on the sewer. Oh my gosh, I was so worried that I had uh, skipped the Den of Thieves because we can get so many items there. We could probably get the full tricky gear, guys. Which, I don't know how much damage that would make me do. Probably a very large amount. This is going to be crazy. If we can get powered up properly with all the tricky stuff. Man, I really am enjoying the range that this offers again. I've missed spear-type weapons. They shoot so far. It goes, this one specifically goes off screen almost. Pretty crazy. Alright, let's just do this. Like, seriously, let's make my life a lot easier. I forgot that I had the ice totem. I was so focused on the other items that I have. I gotta, gotta try to utilize the ice totem too. I'm actually okay with being a ghost right now. As, as crazy as that may sound, guys, I'm okay with being a ghost. It's making everything bright. Although I do have the, the blue candle, which will give us some light. Okay, this is crazy. We, the spikes can't get to us from where they are, though. We gotta be careful about breaking the crystals, though. They are gonna shoot projectiles that will hit me. So there's gonna be the first crystal broken. It actually didn't reach me. Okay. Did the sphere pierce? I think it just did. I think it only pierced because it was something that... It was the, um... The nest for the facehugger. Those things. Those just get pierced normally. Do I even want... Is it really even worth taking all that damage for that gold? Let's clear... Uh, let's destroy all this stuff first. So we can just walk freely. Alright, we, but we set them both off. We can just bait this one, then run through up here. Bait them both. Oh, there's the uh, Den of Thieves, too. We're not going to go just yet. We may actually not even need to kill the, uh, the shopkeepers. That would actually make my life a little easier, despite the fact that my totem would, would freeze them, I think, until we killed them. I'm not going to kill them if I if I don't need to, but if we get 30,000, we could just buy the blueprint and kill the shopkeepers and take what we want. There's a lot of options on the plate right now. We are super strong, and I'm super happy about this. This is a very different and very exciting run. I'm glad that I got to start with the tricky gear. Or not start with the tricky gear, but get so much of it and have it synergize, which is the reason I almost never take the tricky stuff. The spear is exciting. I've never seen the spear. I didn't know it existed. It may be new to the game, actually, as far as I know. It's uh no, it's not a mock monster. This is a mushroom, though. We need to kill ice hugger and a ghost spawner. There we go. I'm I'm liking the accuracy. I gotta get used to it again, still, because I'm just like I said, used to spray and pray. Okay, let's actually get to the safest spot possible. We don't need to blow up the barrels yet. Actually, do we even need to blow them up at all? All right, I think we're safe here to blow up these. Let's just do this. All right, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just firing and forget now. We're, we're far enough away to be entirely safe, I think. Man, I actually have died in one of these rooms. I don't remember if I scrapped that recording or if I kept it, but that was embarrassing. Dying to enemies that do nothing, or dying to stuff that, that doesn't attack you is always pretty embarrassing. Pop up again, I dare you. Chumps. Ooh. Tried it. He went for it. I think now that they now that we have popped up, I have to kill them. Get back. But if if you don't aggro them at all, then you don't have to. There we go. Alright, the den of thieves, I gotta not forget about. I was about to get ready to go down to the next floor, but we definitely gotta not forget that. That's gonna be a really good chance for me to... No! Oh, I didn't get hit! I didn't get hit! I used a soul orb, and that was kind of just like... Oh, this is such a good spot for the ice totem. It's just a, a good chokehold. I almost got hit still, though. I don't... I guess the totem was fading at that point. I'm so glad these little goo piles aren't mock monsters, but I guess they would have kind of just died with everything else, huh? Alright, man, the range is so, so nice. I'll eventually stop, like, 
talking about it, but not yet. <laughs> well, that was a big chain reaction. All right, so we'll clear out this last room, get as much gold as we can. At the very least, we'll know we'll be able to buy the blueprint for 30,000, which I'm hoping is something good and not just something lame. All right, let's wait till they get up here. Let's actually clear this stuff out. And then bam, bam. Oh, that felt so good. That felt, that was so satisfying. This ice totem, man, the chokehold uh, tactics. Oh, it, it was still kind of, there was still a mark of it on the ground, but it stopped freezing enemies. That's why I almost got messed up last time. Just a bit confusing. So many ghosts. I'm trying to kill the spawners. There we go. All right, we should really focus on one thing at a time so we don't take stupid damage. All right, come on. Let's kill the, let's kill the ghost spawner first. There we go, and then we'll do another one of these. There's a bomb there. There's some spike traps I gotta watch out for. Okay. Be smart about this. At least what I feel like is smart. And let's not go down to the next floor. I know some people are probably like, don't go, don't go, you have so much gold. I'm not, don't worry, don't worry. All right. Tricky armor in the, in the, um, the last shop, not the last shops, but the next shops that we're coming to would be so good. Especially since I didn't know it all has like secondary effects like HP, soul power. It has really cool effects actually. Where was the, uh, it was like up in the top left or something, wasn't it? The Den of Thieves? This is one of the best runs that I've ever had. I know I say this pretty much every run now, but the the different types of gear that I'm running and just the nice combination that it's it's making is really, really good. I think even if I had started as Raga, this would feel good. I know that I trade effectively, what, 15 HP when I start as this character for the uh, Fire Staff, but switching it off, I don't feel bad about it anymore. We at least had two runs with the, the Fireball Staff. All right, there's a damage up that I'm not crazy about because we have the Heretic Helm, which is, was it 20 HP? I think it was. Where is the, it's somewhere around these floors. I don't remember exactly where, so sorry. Maybe just the left more and up. I'm checking the edges. It's pretty obvious, it's not a crack on the wall. I think it is actually in this room. If I remember correctly, there it is, sweet. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, this is so exciting. New stuff. Okay, so there's a lot of traps in this area, but there's not really any enemies unless you decide to kill the shopkeepers. So let's try to be smart about this. All right. Do you want to go for the boss first? Oh, we could go. We, the, we should, let's go to the revive. Let's go check out what's on the way to the revive area. <laughs> Man, just some free tricky armor, like in a barrel or in a chest in one of these shops would make my life so nice because I wouldn't I wouldn't have to kill the shopkeepers to buy it and I could get the blueprint. That's a lot, holy crap. Each of these barrels had over a thousand gold, holy mackerel. We actually still could buy the blueprint and have 10K right now. That's craziness. Right, there's nothing here. <clears throat> I don't want to revive yet. No, 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 no. We'll probably revive with a lot, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna pretty much be a punching bag right now and, and absorb all the damage and then revive afterwards because we'll just gain HP that way. Uh, Blueprint is 30k. I know that we don't need to go over there and check. We could make our way to the boss now, which might be a good idea. Let's check out the rest of these um, these areas first. So what is this trap room? Uh, this is a pretty annoying one, but not the worst. There's actually enemies here. There's almost never enemies in Den of Thieves. Just the spike right there. This is probably a mimic. Eh, I was ready for it. All right, let's bait the trap the way that we're not going. And then bait it again way over here, and then we'll bait this one, and we'll be done with this, hopefully. Let's wait for our uh, ice totem. Because we're not going to need it unless we decide to kill Shocky Chris, which I haven't done yet. Oh, darn, he rearmed so fast. Okay, that's okay. That's again why I didn't revive yet. Please, it's tricky gear. Tricky gear? No, soul totem. No, thank you. It's a good totem, don't get me wrong. It's like your soul magic, but it's a totem that shoots it. What do we have for gloves? We have uh, totem power. Nope, not trading that for HP. Not right now. We have good HP. We have good HP. Okay, so there's not really anything I want to buy yet, actually. Crazily enough, I'm not going into that room behind this guy because it's probably just a room full of traps that's going to hurt me. <clears throat> Lots more gold, holy crap. We have an HP or a helmet that's giving. Let's see how much damage we're doing. Yes, this is actually very important to me. The abacus. I have no idea how much damage I'm doing. And then we can see. 20. That's not crazy. It's not bad either, though. 
Considering we attack quite fast, we can probably just gamble the rest of our money then, huh? There's no other items I want to buy. I bought everything I wanted. So let's just gamble the rest of our money away. Potentially win some, actually. Do we have boots yet? We got those. Um, we'll, we'll use these wizard shoes when we go revive. We're going to keep these for the boss, but that'll, that'll make us revive with more HP. Oh! <laughs> wow! This is an exciting run. We have so much... Wow, we get to open another. This, the suspense is killing me. Uh, no, no thank you. This is such an exciting run. We have so much money now, too. I guess we'll check all the other shops again, just in case it might be something we want to buy. All right, shoot at me. Oh, what? Wait, uh, what? How did I get hit? I'm so confused. I'm legit really confused right now. I don't know how I got hit. I was almost positive that I had dodged properly. This is scary. Really? That's like hitting me in the feet. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. All right, we can go fight the boss. Oh, wait, what? What if I'm, oh, this one over here. All right, I hate this room. I think we can still beat the boss with 40 HP because we have the ice totem. It should be actually be very easy, to be honest. Just like so, he's gonna get frozen when he actually pops out. There we go, that's GG. For this guy, anyway. Oh, I thought that explosion was gonna hurt me for a second. Oh, no, don't go in here. And I just walked past the door and I go through it. It's so annoying. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get. We're gonna, I mean, I guess, should we get this? No, we save the HP potion until we revive. Nope, no, no thing. Wait, how much damage does this do? Why does this keep showing up? This thing sucks. Oh, we have tricky, yeah, that's why. All right, I don't want the iron sword at all, but we beat the boss with good the way to the exit and we're not going yet. We're gonna go revive. We're gonna get those boots, we'll revive with more HP. And then we'll switch back to these boots and they'll subsequently give us 10 more HP. And we'll probably get to full HP. We'll have 140 effective HP with tricky gear that's not slowed, that has tons of range as the wizard. Like how crazy is that? That sounds pretty crazy to me. It sounds pretty awesome. We could actually do this too. This would make us, I, I think we'll revive with enough to get back to full though, with what we got going on now. Is it straight up? No, it's to, to the right. Let's see if there's anything else we want to buy, because we just have ridiculous amounts of money. Not that chest plate. We have the tricky chest plate. We could buy all this if we want. I mean, really. And we didn't have to kill any shopkeepers. And we... Did we buy the blueprint? No, we didn't. We didn't buy the blueprint. So I'll get that. So how much did we get? 40. All right. And then we'll snag 10 from this guy. Or 15, actually. Grab this. Actually, I didn't even need that. I forgot. No, we're switching back. Okay, I forgot that. Yeah. I was actually going to be at 50 out of 70, and the potion would have been fine. Ah, blueprint for the fire staff! No way! <laughs> That's funny. Alright then. Now Rock, I can start with the fire staff. <laughs> I wonder how much it costs. I didn't think that would actually happen. I didn't know that it would be something that would end up happening. Alright, 65, and we'll get back to the full 70. Oh, that's going to feel so good. Man, this has been an amazing run so far. If I don't beat death, I'm going to be surprising myself, guys. i got to be completely honest. We may just not have a DPS when we get to him, I'll find out. But I really am kind of expecting to beat him. So you have to check the next episode because I'm going to have to call this one. Uh, it's been 33 minutes, and I'm going to split it now. And then the rest will be the sewer hang boss and the death. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I know I have, and it's, it's going really well. I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. God bless.